I think the town of Prompt's a, a lot like a, a lot of other small towns, but for some reason, Prompt seems friendlier than, um, even like, you know, I grew up in Montana in a pretty small town, and I, I think Prompt's friendlier than that town was. And my wife grew up in Michigan, and we have a place in Michigan where the population is less than Prompt. And I think Prompt is friendlier, um, and I'm not sure why, maybe it's some of the fa founding founder, founding fathers of this town that were here that maybe the way they started the town off, but you know, at the dealership, people come in and they're friendly and our customers will come by, you know, they, they don't have any reason to come by at all. They don't need an oil change, they don't need to buy a car, they don't need anything from the parts department, they just come by and have a cup of coffee with us. In Las Vegas, you never saw that, it, it didn't happen. People came when they had something to do. Usually they came in and they had a scowl on their face, you know, that, here they come in, they're happy, you know, the, the, they'll walk in my office and spend 20 minutes and they're just visiting with me. And same with my service writers, you know, Christmas time, there's cookies coming in and there's Christmas cards coming in and there's phone calls coming in. And it's just, I think Prump's a really friendly town. I think it's a town with a lot of needs. You know, we, pro, I mean, we have a little bit higher unemployment rate than the state and the state's had a pretty tough unemployment rate. So I, I think Prump has a, has a lot of um, needs. And unfortunately, we don't have a lot of industry to give back and to take care of those needs. So there's um, you know, probably not as many things getting taken care of as maybe there would be in Las Vegas where you have a lot of casinos to contribute. Um, you know, here you just have a few businesses that are able to help. I think um, success, really, my definition is you have to be happy. Um, I know a lot of very wealthy people that aren't happy, and that's not success. I know people who are not wealthy in any way, shape, or form. Um, they live very simple lives and they're extremely happy. And I'd, I would say that man's a lot more successful and his family's a lot more successful than the guy who's a multimillionaire and miserable. Who is Don Trudeau? Uh, Don Trudeau's, um, I'm a happy guy. Um, I've had a you know, I've been very fortunate in life. I have a good wife. I have, I have great kids. Um, I have a good business partner. I have a lot of, um, you know, the employees that I have at the dealership. But a lot of them have been there longer than I have. You know, when we purchased the dealership, some of the people like Linda DeMeo and Chuck, my parts manager, um, some of my salespeople, Mike Colucci, they were there. I inherited them with the dealership. So I'm, I'm a guy who has a, has a great family at the dealership, um, a lot of friends in prompt. Um, I'm a lucky guy. I think um, success, really, my definition is, is you have to be happy. Um, I know a lot of very wealthy people that aren't happy, and that's not success. I know people who are not wealthy in any way, shape, or form. Um, they live very simple lives, and they're extremely happy. And I'd, I would say that man's a lot more successful, and his family's a lot more successful than the guy who's a multimillionaire and miserable.